Why February 29th is bad luck for salary workers, good luck for unmarried women, and nothing new for hobbits. One solar year, that is, the amount of time it takes our planet to accomplish one full rotation about the sun, takes roughly 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds. That extra 5 or so hours nobody likes to talk about are precisely why we have leap years, the 366-day years that occur every 4 years, encourage women to propose to men, and make celebrating birthdays very confusing for one 1461st of the population. Here are 9 reasons leap day is even more special than you think. Point 1. The rule, leap day happens every 4 years unless it doesn't. The point of leap years is to help adjust our Gregorian calendar, aka, the 365 day calendar you can find on your desk or phone, to the solar calendar, and make sure we celebrate solar events like the spring and autumn equinoxes with some regularity every year. Even adding an extra day to February every four years doesn't quite do the trick, which is why scientists sometimes call for a leap second like they did in 2015 on June 30th at 11.59, 60 p.m. How do you remember if it's a leap year? Simple, if the last two digits of the year are divisible by four, e.g. 2016, 2020, 2024, then it's a leap year. Century years are the exception to this rule. They must be divisible by 400 to be leap years, so, 2000 and 2400 are leap years, but 2100 will not be won. As a bonus, US leap years almost always coincide with election years. 2. What's crazier than February 29th? A woman proposing to a man, says history. You're not the only one who thinks leap years are silly. After Pope Gregory XIII instituted the Gregorian calendar in 1582, the idea of adding February 29th every four years seemed so ridiculous that a British play joked it was a day when women should trade their dresses for breeches and act like men. The play was meant as satire, but some early feminists must have been inspired. By the 1700s, women were using Leap Day to propose to the men in their lives. The tradition, now called Bachelor's Day or Sadie Hawkins Day, peaked in the early 1900s and continues today in the UK, where some retailers even offer discount packages to women popping the question. 3. The Salem witchcraft trials are connected to Leap Day If we're looking at history a bit closer to home in the United States, then we should focus on Massachusetts. The Salem witchcraft trials weren't a fun time in colonial America. There was a particularly negative connection with Leap Day. The first warrants for arrest went out on February 29, 1692 for the Salem Witchcraft Trials. And you thought Friday the 13th was spooky. Find out some strange things that really happened on Friday the 13th. 4. It's rare to be born on Leap Day, dot, but what about dying on Leap Day, too? According to the World Heritage Encyclopedia, in the 1800s, the British-born James Milne Wilson, who later became the 8th Premier of Tasmania, was born on a Leap Day and died on a Leap Day. Wilson died on February 29, 1880, on his 17th birthday, or aged 68 in regular years. Maybe that's not that crazy though, since you are more likely to die on your birthday. 5. What do Tony Robbins and Gioacchino Rossini have in common? They are both extremely successful in their respective fields, but more to the point, they were both born on February 29th. The odds of being born on February 29th are 1 in 1,461, which makes it particularly rare for one leapling, as they are called, to meet another. Do you know how many living people around the world share your birthday? Rarer still is the possibility that three children in the same family would be born on three consecutive leap days, but that's exactly what happened with the Henriksen family of Norway. Heidi Henriksen was born on February 29, 1960, her brother Olav four years later on February 29, 64, and baby Leif Martin four years after that on February 29, 68. According to many government agencies, the siblings would not legally be considered a year older until March 1 on non-leap years, but in 2020, we can officially say, happy actual birthday, leaplings. 6. Only Swedes and Hobbits celebrate February 30, February 30. This even rarer date occurred in Sweden and Finland in 1712, when they added an extra leap day to February to help catch up their outdated Julian calendar with the new Gregorian calendar. There is, however, one race of people who celebrate February 30th every year, hobbits. The wee folk of J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings universe observe 12 30-day months every year, including Solmouth, translated in the text to February. That's definitely one of the things you missed when reading Lord of the Rings for the first time. 7. There is an official Leap Day cocktail and it's called, Dot the Leap Day Cocktail. 
This colourful cousin of the martini was invented by pioneering bartender Harry Craddock at London's Savoy Hotel in 1928. According to the 1930 Savoy Cocktail Book, it is said to have been responsible for more proposals than any other cocktail ever mixed, see, Sadie Hawkins Day Above. Whether or not you're in the market for a freshly soused spouse, you can make your own Leap Day cocktail with Craddock's original recipe. 1 dash lemon juice 2 thirds gin 1 sixth Grand Marnier 1 sixth sweet vermouth. Shake, serve, garnish with a lemon peel, and enjoy the flood of bittersweet flavors. It's like a marriage, in your mouth. 8. Not thirsty. Celebrate Leap Day with travel deals and a rare French magazine. How does one celebrate a holiday that's not really a holiday? By shopping, obviously. Many businesses observe the rarity of Leap Day by offering massive deals. Take a minute to check in with any restaurants, hotels, or cruise lines you've been curious about, chances are, they have a promotion running. And if your travels take you to France, pick up a copy of the Rare Le Bougie du Sapeur, a French parody newspaper only published once every four years on Leap Day. Newsstand copies sell for €4 Euro a piece, but generous investors can buy a lifetime subscription, only €100 Euro per century. 9. Is February 29th good luck or bad luck? Depends on who you ask. According to an old Scottish aphorism, leap year was ne'er a good sheep year. The superstition that leap days are particularly lucky or unlucky has been debated through history and across cultures, and there's still no clear winner. For one thing, it's bad luck if you're a prisoner on a one-year sentence that spans a leap day. Also, bad news if you work on a fixed annual salary, no extra pay for that extra day. On the other hand, leap day is great luck if you're on a fixed monthly rent, one free day of living, or if you're Hattie McDaniel, in which case February 29, 1940 is the day you became the first African American to win an Oscar, for your role as Mammy in Gone with the Wind. Will February 29, 2020 be lucky or unlucky? You'll just have to live through it and see. Next, find out why February is the chosen month to be shorter in the first place. Once in every four years February shows 29 days on the calendar, instead of the usual 28. The year is called a leap year, while the day is known as leap day. The additional 24 hours are included into the calendar to ensure that it corresponds with the Earth's movement around the Sun. To ensure that there is a consistency with an astronomical year, it is necessary to add in an extra day every four years to make up the lost time. On the occasion of Leap Day, here are a few interesting facts associated with it. An old Irish legend says that once St. Bridget struck a deal with St. Patrick to allow women to propose to men and not the other way around, every four years. The day also traces back to a British play where it was joked that February 29th, which fell on every four years, would see women act like men, but it seems to have inspired early feminists who were using Leap Day to propose to the men in their lives by 1700s. The first warrants for the Salem witchcraft trials were issued on February 29, 1692. The trials were a series of hearings and prosecutions of people who were accused of being witches in colonial Massachusetts between February 1692 and May 1693 ancient calendars. There were entire leap months in ancient Hebrew, Buddhist and Chinese calendars. These calendars were lunisolar, meaning their dates indicate both position of moon as well as earth with respect to sun. Since there is a gap of approximately 11 days between a year as measured by lunar cycles and one measured by the earth's orbit, such calendars often required the addition of extra months. Leaper. A person who is born on February the 29th of May be called at leapling or at leap year baby. However, the effective legal date of a leapling's birthday varies from place to place. In the UK and Hong Kong, when a person who is born on February 29th turns 18, their birthdays are considered to be on March 1st. In New Zealand, people born on February 29th see their birthdays celebrated a day earlier on non-leap year days. Leap day dates all the way back to the time of Julius Caesar. Caesar played with the concept of adding a leap month based off a 364-day year. However, after consulting top astronomers at the time, he realized the number of days was closer to 365.25 days. Originally, he added Leap Day on February 24 in 45 BC. Despite getting closer to the number of days in a year with the help of his advisors, Caesar still miscalculated by 11 minutes. To make up for this disparity, Pope Gregory XIII created a system that subtracts three leap years every 400 years. Leap years occur on century years like 2000, that are divisible by 400. However, they do not occur on century years like 1700, that are not. 
1. Leap Day is typically celebrated on February 29. Some countries don't follow the Gregorian calendar model. For instance, China adds a leap month every three years. 2. Leap Day happens once every four years. 3. The concept of Leap Day originated in Rome. 4. In a leap year, there are 366 days. 5. Leap year was originally necessary to maintain crop growth. 6. The extra day was added to February because the notoriously cold month was an afterthought. Ancient Romans didn't count January or February because they were irrelevant to crop growth. When they were added to the calendar, February was the last month and had the fewest days. 7. People with a leap day birthday can celebrate on February 28th or February 29th, but legal age differs by country. 8. In New Zealand, this means you turn 18 on February 28th. 9. In the United Kingdom, this means you turn 18 on March 1st. 10. Celebrities like rapper Yar Rule and lead singer of Foster the People, Mark Foster, were born on Leap Day. 11. Serial killers Aileen Warnos and Richard Ramirez were also born on Leap Day. 12. If you were born on Leap Day, your zodiac sign is Pisces. 13. You have a 1 in 1,461 chance of being born on February 29th. 14. There are 7.5 billion people in the world, but only about 5 million were born on Leap Day. 15. In the United States, less than 200,000 people were born on Leap Day. 16. A family from the United Kingdom earned a Guinness World Record in 1996 for three consecutive generations of Leap Day birthdays. 17. In Europe, it is custom for women to propose on Leap Day. 18. In Ireland, legend has it that the marriage proposal tradition was started when St. Bridget of Kildare persuaded St. Patrick to allow women to ask their timid suitors to marry them once every four years. 19. The tale was debunked because St. Bridget was only nine years old when St. Patrick died. 20. However, the legend goes that St. Bridget proposed to St. Patrick, who rejected her. As a consolation, he gave her a silk gown. This led to the tradition of giving a woman compensation for rejection on February 29. 21. In Finland, the refusal fine is enough to buy the woman fabric for a skirt. 22. Scotland had a similar story with Queen Margaret, who supposedly enacted a law in 1288, allowing women to propose on Leap Day. The women allegedly had to wear a red petticoat to warn her man she intending to propose to him. 23. The Scottish legend, however, was also debunked because Queen Margaret was just five years old when the law would have been enacted. Historians also couldn't find proof of the law itself. 24. In Denmark, if you refuse proposal on February 29th, you must present the woman with 12 gloves to hide her ringless finger. 25. Greeks think leap year is bad luck and engaged couples will avoid getting married until the year passes. 26. In the spiritual community, people believe the numerology behind February 29th offers a feminine characteristic that prompts personal growth, love and healing. February 29th, 9 quirky leap year facts you probably didn't know.